Hello everybody, Burnt Out Guy here, and welcome back. Alright, so we're here for another episode of uh, Stone and Block 2. Um, so I've done a little bit here. Uh, made a bunch of dirt. I just went and I smashed it down with a hammer and got dirt. So that way I don't have to wait after that uh, tree thing. So on this side of the wall, like I said, we were going to do our, our little setups where we're going to make like um, obsidian and... Down here I have um, a container of which water being made, and this one's here clay. Um, this one's going to be more manual, so whenever we just need clay, because I don't know how much we're going to need it going forward into the mod pack, so if we don't need to fully automate it, then so be it, right? We'll just have access to it here. But if we need to automate it at one point or another, well, then we, we know what to do and where to go, right? So uh, the witch water... Uh, was only really used for a few things, so we'll we'll see in the future how that's gonna go. But um, I was gonna do like water based things going along this side, and lava based things going along this side. Since I have uh, an ender tank here, so that can feed us all the lava that we need on this side, and on that side I have a sink. So. Yeah, I think that's going to look pretty good going forward. Uh, here we have everything stopped at the moment because uh, we're only really producing that and we have nowhere for the ores to go. So like from all the testing and everything like that, uh, I got that. And plus I brought all the iron and I'm smelting it into blocks right now. So yeah, so I didn't really want to fill up this at the moment because we don't have uh, upgrades for these yet made. Uh, and I'm also too, if I'm not mistaken, these have to be upgraded to one tier at a time. You just can't go to the last tier. So if we look at the, um, at Yaba, uh, see these barrel upgrades. Um, I think you have to go like iron and gold then diamond, you know what I mean? And then the infinite capacity. And then we have creative barrels, which I don't think we'll probably get, um, then there is uh, the void ones as well. We're going to go after since now we can. Um, oh, well, they're pretty easy to make. They're just with cobblestone. Wow. Okay. Uh, but yeah, we'll have to do all these tiered ones and get all the way up to the, the nether stars or use diamonds or whatever. You know what I mean? Depending on what we're doing when we get there. The nether star one would be more profitable because you do one, you get like 64 of them. It's like, what the hell? <laughs> right? Um, so if we ever get nether stars, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So that's pretty much all that for the whole barrel thing. So we'll one at a time, we'll probably have to put void upgrades on them and all that kind of stuff. And Make sure that um, nothing ever will get backed up, right? But in today's episode, uh, we're going to look at the mechanism side of doing something with our ores. Now, we can do uh, just normal smelting. So we get like one times. We can do two times. We can do three times. There's four times. And there's five times ore doubling. I don't think we're going to need that much going forward. Uh, it's just us playing, so I think maybe just the times two will be fine. And this is a lot of room for just setting up a times two setup. Um, because it's, yeah, it's it, it's a little overkill. Um, so I really don't know what to do with the rest of this room. I haven't kind of figured it out yet. Um, maybe we might just do like a, a small ore doubling system right here. And then next to it, we could put all the the ingots that we get out of it um, into like a chest arrangement like that, like next to it. And then farther down here, well, we could figure out other things to place, uh, other machines or other different types of um, stuff. <laughs> I really don't know what I'm going to do for it. Uh, you know what I mean? Um, because... The crusher, I think you need a step before that um, in order to, to to do that. So if we just go and we look at mechanism right quick, I don't want to be babbling too long. I want to get like a lot done today. Um, I think it's the injecting factory. So one of those anyways that you, you use and you got to like put flint in there and just got to start dealing with gases and i i think it's just overcomplicated for nothing uh doubling is just fine 
Um, so that's why I decided to just do doubling. And the crusher, <clears throat> we'll try it out, but I'm pretty sure you have to you you have to do the step prior to the crusher in order to get you know what i mean and otherwise it just doesn't work but anyways that's what i think so we'll go and we'll try it out we'll do like a mock little setup over here uh back at the the main area so i think it's gonna look really good when it's all done um just to let you know what i did here i color coded all my exits and stuff like that so uh that way we're not um like this stuff isn't going to go over there and everything. So like we got white and red and all that good stuff, right? Uh, the red is actually the power, sorry. So like we're on different like orange and green over here. And then over here was like uh, black and green. So you know what I mean? Like we got everything color coded. So nothing's going to go into different areas. And all the ores for our filter, by the way, are there's just the nine ores that are going to come out of all of this. So, yeah, it worked out really good. Um, the other thing I was thinking about, too, is uh, I might make a manual station for netherrack and um, or just anything that I want to do. Like, so if um, we are doing if we need something like, I don't know, crushed and stone or whatever well we can do stuff like that so uh in here in the power room i went a little crazy and i uh made a bunch more friggin dynamos uh these ones uh we had some upgrades that we got for as rewards i made i think one of these and then the other two i think we had already had as rewards so but everything else is a invar uh kit so it's the first kit and we have only uh one augment on here at one point so like we're we're generating like 120 rf from these ones these ones are 160 uh yeah 160 and this one over here is 200 so we're generating quite a bit of rf at least a thousand something rf which is pretty good um all of our tanks are full uh but that's because like everything is stopped right we're not like using any power anywhere right um i'm curious to see how much it's going to do when we start that up but this is looking really nice. I like it with the grass. I think it looks good. Soft on the ears when you walk around. Um, this too, all of our machines I brought over here. I made a point and then, you know, we can just do some more crafting here and more, I don't know, we don't have to run around as much for stuff, right? I think that's a little bit better. Uh, more time productive, I guess. Um, yeah, other than that, the grass is actually going all the way around now. Uh, just to show you that I took the time to make the dirt and I started there. But because this room isn't done, I didn't want to go too far in. Um, same here. We have to make some more of this uh, seared cobble uh, to finish off the patterns. But it goes up all the way around. Uh, same with the other side too. So, all right. So I guess that's enough of babbling. Uh, let's uh, get into uh, making some mechanism parts here. Um so I'm going to gather some resources. Oh, yes. Before we even get into these, we need to do the metallurgic infuser uh, because, uh, yeah, we can't do any of those other things without it. So a couple furnaces, some iron, redstone, and um, I believe that was osmium. So this thing here, we got enough. That's awesome. Uh, let's grab this and this. Just in case, um, we will put you here. And I believe, yeah, there's power there. So go here, we'll plop you there. We'll give you that. And I want to be able to just uh, make sure that you are going to take out. And whatever we do and we plump in there, we'll always go into a chest, right? So that's kind of important for me. Uh, that way I don't have to break my head on, like, is stuff going to back up or do I have to go and baby it or whatever, you know? We don't want to be doing that. So what this is going to do is we're going to be able to put, like, an item here. It's going to get transported into here as some kind of, I guess, you can say, like, a fluid, right? Or whatever. Um, then we can put another type of material here, and they're going to get infused together to create a new material. So... Um, this so sucks that we have to do this because, like, I'm so low on redstone. Because <laughs> I think this is the first stage is we need to do it with redstone. 
and then iron. Uh, I had a bunch of iron with me too. So I'm not going to do it all into iron. Um, let's do, let's do 16 and 16. Cause it's like a one for one kind of thing, right? So we'll put 16 of these in here. Okay. You get 160. Each one is worth 10. And then you put your iron here and then is going to create, uh, let's see here. These things here, the enriched alloys. And then there's these other ones here too you can make. Uh, that's with osmium and redstone. And you're going to need these as well going forward. That's why, like I said, I can't make all of them into that. Like we're going to have to go a little bit at a time. And then as you go up into the stages for the end, like, because each one of these have like four stages that we can start off with to, um, I guess, get more items. Uh, no. How do we? They got stages, yeah. Because you can make more items with it. That's how. That's how I wanted to say it. So, like, say the first one here, we can only deal with one item at a time. The second one's like three, and then and then it goes to five, and then it goes to seven, I believe. So, like, seven is the top. So you'll be able to like make seven different things at once, like crush seven different things, or you know, uh, enrich seven different things at once. You know, like it's gonna make the process go like super, super fast. So yeah, that's why I'm gonna make like a little bit of an overkill system. Um and we'll always have it running, right? I think that's what's gonna happen in the end, just because we'll have all those void upgrades on there eventually. It's just gonna it's just gonna work and run. So these things are uh, almost done. Um what else are we gonna need here? Uh okay, so we did that already. So the crusher, we're gonna need at least two of those for the crusher. The enrichment chamber is the same thing. And the basic controller is the same thing. Okay, so we didn't even need those things just yet. That's fine. That's fine. I'm okay with that because we're going to need them eventually. I know that's for sure. So we're going to need three steel casings. That's okay. Um, let's get over here. Let's uh, make one of these. So we got a crusher. Get that out of there. Then what's the next thing? The enrichment chamber. So we can make one of these. And the last one is the smelter. So we just need two more of them, uh, which we have now. So uh, where's that smelter? That's pretty good. Good stuff. Um, going to need these again because I just want to make a crappy little mock setup here. Um, yeah, let me do something like this here. So, um, we got the crusher, right? Then we got the enrichment chamber. And then we got the smelter. So this is what I want to work, right? So if we, um, let me just check this out here. The output is automatically going to go into here. This output is automatically going to there. So let's check this out. So if I start off with uh, an iron chunk, right? I toss an iron chunk in there. What are we going to get? Nothing. Nothing whatsoever. Why? Okay, so... Looks like it only likes the clumps. Yeah, it only seems to like the clumps. Or ingots. Hmm. Clumps or ingots, huh? So, I guess it's going to have to go in something like this, the enrichment chamber. We're just going to have to do uh, two times. That will make, like, the powder should do two yeah uh auto eject no auto eject on no no auto okay so anyways that one's supposed to go into here and they're kind of loud but you can get muffling upgrades for these things too 
which isn't too bad. Um, so there, you get two ingots out of it. So that would be the setup. <laughs> That's annoying. I won't be going into that room too often. So there you go. So that's or doubling. And then, like I said, the other one before, you'd have to use uh, control M. Allowing multiple process and pair at once. No, that's purifying. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's this one. The, the injecting enrichment combiner. Miner. Yeah. But I'm not going to get into that. So I think we're just going to uh, skip this one and just work with these two, right? Um, on kind of a mass scale. So we can just throw that into here as like a useless item that we're not going to use. Um, so uh, the next steps are uh, we'll take that out of there. So you got the enrichment chamber, right? Uh,. So let's see if we can get all of them in here. Enrich. So here we go. So we've got the enrichment chamber. Then it goes the basic enrichment chamber, advanced, and to the elite. My goal is to get to the elite one. So we have that one. This one requires the first one, right? And then same basic thing. The next one, we'll have to use those things. These we'll have to make. And the last one is we'll have to make all those completely. So those will require diamonds. These ones are just those together. And we have those already. So that's not a big deal. These ones here require crushed diamonds. So we actually might use the crusher for these. But we have a sag mill as well. Sag mill should turn those things into dust. Um, so that's not a big deal. I guess the crusher we could still use for for different things, maybe. So maybe it's not a complete loss. We'll just throw it in here somewhere. Um, that's it. So I guess I'm going to work on those things off cam. Uh, I don't know how many of these I'm going to need, to be honest with you. I was thinking about one of each for one each item, which would kind of make sense. So I would make nine of these and nine of these, and we would make a series where they would just all kind of like go into each other and then into like a, a barrel thing at the bottom. I think that's kind of what we're going to do. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to make nine of these and nine of these. So it's going to take me a little while. So I'll go do that off cam. And then once we're done, well, I'll come back and we'll set all that up together. So, all right. So I'll be back. Remember, we're going all the way to the elite on both of these. So like I said, when I come back, I'm going to have nine of these and nine of the other ones. So it's a lot of bloody crafting. All right. So let's do this. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So a little bit of crafting later. Um, actually, I should go show you what I did over here first uh, before I continue over there. Um, I This went while well, it went fast, all this crafting. Uh the first thing I did was I upgraded these things here, the Elite Infuser, uh, the Infusing Fire thing there, and the Elite Crusher. Uh, these things, like, cut my job down in half, like, well, extremely friggin' fast, so I was able to, like, make all kinds of stuff here, right? Um, I was making that in there, and then decided to start making it in here. Now, you can see I ripped all this stuff out. Now, I am thinking I'm going to redesign this room in between episodes, so there's probably going to be a big change next episode uh, when it comes to this room here, uh, remodeling-wise, because of uh, I want to make more of these, and um, yeah, I got a few ideas. Anyways, so uh, yeah, uh, that, that was that. Uh, now we're going to go back over here, and we're going to go set up uh, all the other stuff here, so... If you look at the mini map, you can see quite a bit of time has actually passed because like the grass is slowly making its way around, which is pretty awesome. So, um, so here we got all the elite, the uh, elite enrich factories and the elite smelting factories. So I went with nine of each. Then I went with these uh, auto compressors. I'm really hoping that they compress the the nuggets before going into what uh, you know the rest. So I made nine filters too, one for each type of uh, ingot. Or well, or anyways, so the whole way that goes into one in particular auto compressor, and you know, I'm just trying to overkill this a little bit since we have so much room to play with, right? 
Um, so I think we'll start off with the uh, enriched factories here. So um, kind of want them to be, I don't know if we should have them like all seeing each other and uh, like, cause you know what I mean? I could do something like uh, this. I'll just grab one of each for now. Okay. And we'll, we'll play around with a little bit of a design here. So we could do something. Oh, 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 something just froze there. There we go. Uh, uh, it does that every once in a while, which I find weird. Uh, so let's not do it right on the edge. Maybe we'll come in one and we'll go like, say we can have something like this. Then our enrichment factory can be here, right? And then our smelting factory can be here. So I think we can have it auto pull from above. So all of our kind of like cabling, we just have to kind of go up to the top so we can have it come down here from down here somewhere and go up and then across. And then we can just put in our filters, right? And then see if that works. So uh, all of these need power. So we're gonna have to run power over here anyways, right? So let's just uh, do that. I think I'll have it come down this way. So powerful, this thing is absolutely crazy. And then I think what I'm going to do is just, just destroy the rest of this, right? And we'll see if we can get up here. I'm probably more doing more than nine right now. I'm not even counting. Anyways, uh, let's fix up these holes. Come over yonder. There we go. All right, so we're going to need that and that for sure. So let's worry about putting the power in. Uh, probably should have worked off from the other side, but that's fine. Then items are going to have to come into that one there. So maybe what we should do is just leave a gap and then come down like this. You know what I'm saying? And then run the power along with it. There we go. So have something like this, right? Doo -doo. And then I think we'll just continue running the power down for now. This is kind of like my cable network. I really like it. It's going to come in really handy, I think. Uh, get over here. Perfect. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Okay, so all this should get power now, right? Oh, yeah, beautiful, beautiful. So I know I got uh, stuff in here still being made, so we'll grab 64 of this. We'll test it with the iron to begin with. So I'm just going to toss that in there. Oh, yes, it makes the chunks. Sweet. Okay. This is beautiful. All right. This is very beautiful. Now, if we go into here, uh, take all this off for now, all right? So, input, and then auto-eject. So, we're not getting anything in here yet. These things, they don't auto-pull, maybe? Because that should be up, right? Input, energy, gases. But there's no auto-pull. Just an auto push, right? Okay, so that kind of that's kind of pewy. Um, so maybe, 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 maybe. Let me have a look here. Because uh, I don't want to be doing like cables like this, you know? Because I'm gonna have to start color coding them or putting. Uh, filters on certain things like there's gonna have to be a filter here and there's gonna be have to filter for that one you know like mind you it's not a big deal um, I can do something like that because um, since they're all on the same you know what I mean since they're all on the same green coating here like uh, the green line I can't I could use more color coding but I think I'd be better off with filters I think that's what I'll do um, so if we go in here right uh, where are my filters? Did I leave them in here? I did. 
So let's go grab. These filters are really easy to make, by the way, so it's not much of a big deal. Set iron first, right? Okay, so iron and then they have the chunks here, so that's good. So we only set the first one up and then I guess I can do the rest kind of like off camera. You'll have the idea of how it's going to work out. We'll see how it works, if it works well first. So let's put that in there. We'll uh, make sure that uh, only iron chunks can uh, go in there, right? Then in this one here, we'll, uh, oops, we'll make sure it's uh, only here. Only those can go in there, right? Um, <clears throat> input, is that going to start taking them in now? Uh, we'll auto sort on, no. Uh, strict input, maybe from the back. No. Or what if we do this? Will this work? Uh, that's like seriously color coding stuff, eh? Dark red. Now does that pull stuff in? No, huh? Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Oh, wait. Um, always active. That might work. And uh, I guess we'll go insert and extract, right? I guess we have no choice but to do that. Doesn't really, shouldn't really matter, like. This should be only trying to pull in this stuff, right? Extract. That should be insert, not extract, maybe. No, still no. Go like this. Ah, there we go. There we go. So that works. Um, that's now pulling in stuff. Uh, insert. Green channel. That should be fine, I guess, right? <clears throat> now, did that suck away all the iron from all of these? Let me go check, because there should have been iron in all of them. So I'm assuming it did. Okay. That's good. That's good. Um, so all these are going to get like times two. So then can I just, uh, do this, right? Well, it should already auto know that like, anyways, um, So the output is going to be the bottom. So on this one, I should make sure that uh, output is the bottom. And if I go like that, then all these should smelt. Correct. I'll give me just one, though, for each. And then... Um, I think we're going to grab this right here. And then maybe just uh, one of these here like this. Pow. And always active. Oh, and this one should be insert and like that. Well, and then we'll have ingots up the yin yang being produced here. So I think I'm going to do something like that for each one. Um, I think that's the plan, right? I think that'll look good. So let's go lay all these out and I'll do them like one at a time kind of thing off cam. And then I'll come back with like the, the, the finished result. Oh, look at that. I did it right on the perfect one. <laughs> I wasn't even counting those. That was, what a fluke. What a fluke. I'm telling you. 
All right, so let's just plop these in here. It means I'm going to have to at least go one more out, though, because I won't see uh, what the heck I'm doing. And then we're going to have to light it up, too, because that's probably going to be Mob City if I don't. Um, 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 um. I guess what we'll do is we'll just do this for now. There we go. Just so we can have some light back here and see what I'm doing. And we'll just kind of go like this and like that. There we go. Perfect. I can see what I'm doing. I might leave those there, there too. I might leave a backing in it and who knows. I'll make it nice and purdy, I guess, maybe. Uh, get rid of that. And then I'm going to need these guys here. Uh, I'm going to have to shift click, right? So each one of these will be one. That's going to be pretty good, I think. And then I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep each one of these on a separate channel. That way I don't have to worry about... Um, I'll just put them all in for now. There. That way I don't have to worry about color coding them and make sure that they don't go into their own barrels and all that kind of good stuff. So I'll just make sure that they're always extracting like so. And then that way, whatever I put in them, well, the barrels will know. And then I'll just have to go and, uh, uh, what the heck, I'll just have to go and make sure that I convert all these and make sure they're pulling and pushing all on the proper sides and all that good stuff. And we'll just put these barrels here for now, like so. And then we'll change what they look like at a later date and make them look a little bit more nicer, right? But I think that's going to be pretty much all our setup. So off cam, I'll go and I'll hook all that up. And then we can turn all of this on in one shot and see uh, how it furnishes and how well it goes. Because that will have the, what is it there? We'll have the gravel, the sand, and the dust going. And then we'll see if all this can keep up. There's also speed upgrades and mufflers and all that stuff uh, here uh, we can do. So if we find um, that it's not doing so well, well off cam uh, in between episodes i can put the speed upgrades and the energy upgrades and the mufflers and then like when we come back in the next episode well we can put them in and see how it works and how it fares and all that good stuff and and that way we can have all kinds of uh, resources right and uh because we can just go by and pause these at any time like um if we find things that are overflowing or whatnot so in the meantime anyways i'll be back i'll go finish this off and i'll come right back all right, so uh, I got all this done. Um, it looks pretty good. Uh, it's like I said, it's only ore doubling, so it's uh, you know nothing too uh, too freaky. Uh, excuse me, but it's going to be a little uh, loud. Uh, so we'll go ahead and we we will uh, turn everything on. And this is like the moment of truth for our power too, as well, and see if uh, our power and everything can keep up. Um, so this is just going to be the nine different types of ingots, uh, all this stuff here being produced. Um, and then we should be able to sit back and watch this thing just slowly light up <laughs> as it receives each individual type of ingot or well, ore anyways. And then stuff is going to smelt. It's going to get loud. <laughs> So as it gets four of every kind, it'll eventually, you know what I mean, like go through. But who knows if this is ever going to back up. Uh, it could back up maybe one day. Uh, who knows? But we'll see. We'll see. Uh, so far, it should just technically keep going as long as, like, say these were voided or whatever, right? So I'll let that go for a little bit. Rack up some uh, ingots of uh, whatever that we're going to need. And uh, all that good stuff. Uh, in the meantime, this is all filling up as well, which is pretty awesome and amazing. Um, I guess at one point or another, we'll put one of those little funny barrel things there and we'll hook up a setup where we can uh, pull off of that. And for the future, for when we get into like, a, I think it's ME, I'm not 100% sure. Let's go have a look at uh, what our storage is here. Yeah, these are like a ME, I think, or something like that. I can't remember. Uh, looks like it looks like cartridges, so 
kind of some kind of a storage system. But anyways, we're going to go with something like this. Um, anyways, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video, everybody. Uh, like I said, we got uh, just basic ore doubling going. I think that's all we're really going to need. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the video, everybody. Like, subscribe, and we will see you next time.